All right, um, let's go getting back to this fucking lathe project here. I uh, went in the house, got some dinner, all that as usual. My wife does an awesome job. So this is that little keyway piece, one of them, that uh, if we match up or compare the keyways, you can see the, the gear has got much smaller keyway on it than than what the plastic ones do. So, my solution, because there's so many gears and so many different ways you can change your gear ratio to change your feed speed, is uh, rather than try to take all those gears out, we're gonna try to take this down with a file. A little at a time until she fits nice. Gotta keep flipping it over though, go from uh, either side. <laughs> now I'll just keep. Uh, Chipping away at it until we get it to fit. It seems like the center hole is the same size. It's just the uh, keyway is different. So, <laughs> all right. So after all uh, file work, you can see that uh, fits in there. Slides back and through nice. Back and forth through there nice. So that one's done. The other keyway is on here, and I'll show you. Um, the other keyways on here are removable ones. That one I'm not changing because that's the same gear. Goes there. There's a couple of them on here, but this back gear we're going to change, and that has one of those small keyways as well. So I get to get a snap ring players, remove that snap ring, and then uh, we have a 40 tooth gear. Or 45 tooth it's marked whatever it's gonna be yeah 45 tooth so that one we'll uh, dig around and find some snap ring pliers and I'll bring you back all right so we'll get you I'm going to put you down here, so hopefully, maybe, maybe I don't drop this piece of snap ring. Um, I don't know if that's a... It's like a horseshoe-shaped snap ring. I don't know what the hell that's all about. It seems like it's tweaked. Um, this gear. So this uh, keyway comes out like that. This one doesn't seem to want to come off there. And I'm not sure where it is we'll probably have to get a some kind of crying device on there and see if we can get it off so the screwdriver in the back here we can uh pop that gear free like so and this one has yet a, another style keyway in it that's cut slightly different than the others, I think. Or it's sideways in there. Um, I'm going to grab a needle nose pliers and we'll pull that apart. I think. Got the video premiere coming up here in a minute. I'm tired today. I must say, I'm uh, a little wore out today.
So we're gonna. Yeah, it was. They router cut that keyway, and apparently it's uh, square enough that it can go in. Either way, it should have been in this way. It should have been in that way. They had it in that way. Not that it matters. The only difference is, is we need to cut down half of the keyway to fit the uh, fit that gear because you can see how that keyway is too big. So. This should be fun. See the difference there. Um, but otherwise, they're same gear, just heavier duty metal gear. <clears throat> so, the modification for this is going to be interesting. I can tell already. That'll be fun. Not. We're just going to make sure we size that to the shaft. And it does fit on the shaft. I might decide on this one to take out that keyway because this isn't a changed gear anyway. You're not using it to change um, speeds. So if I can, we could uh, try to file that out with one of these small files and see if that'll work. Welcome to my world, folks, where even if it's brand new, it's fucking broken. Or it doesn't fit. Not sure how much progress I'm making there. We might be better off trying to cut down the keyway. Um, I know my other vice isn't going to hold this with the precision that I'm looking for. Possibly a vice grip. But we'll see. Okay, so maybe you can see the profile there. I probably uh, went a little bit too too far down, but whatever. It's, it seems to sit in there pretty nice like that. And now we have a Flipped around. Noise over there is the premiere going on. I was going to chat with those guys, but I got to get some shit done tonight yet. So, And I made, I filed it, so hopefully it'll be a decent, a uh, little bit of a friction fit. And we can kind of tap that in there. Because, again, this gear doesn't get changed. And we can, um, oh, we don't have it rattling around and shit so I need to hmm what do I need to do that with a socket and a hammer okay so we have uh, that metal gear installed there these two plastic gears don't come in this set they're just not there, whatever. Um, so then this needs to go. I have to spin that somehow. I'm gonna pinch my finger otherwise.
It's a little uh, rough moving there, huh? I just had it locked in. Got to find the, the neutral spot. Okay, so we put this keyway in here like that. One of these gears, both the same, one in the same, and I believe these are metal. That goes on there. So now, because you can loosen that bolt up there and slide this back and forth, it had 80-80 gears on it, so that's what was there before. Um, so, big gear drives a little gear faster, so they were running the same ratio, so everybody says they need to be faster. <laughs> um, so... We can run an 80 gear. We need our little collar though. We need that sweet little fucker. It goes there. So we can run an 80 gear on it. Right? Come on, Rick. Line it up. <laughs> so I fitted it to that that fifty five gear, fifty five tooth gear, and it might not be the same as an eighty the eighty tooth gear. I think that uh, that one's smaller. Try this other 80 tooth gear that I have over here. Uh -huh. I think the uh, <sighs> Jesus. So I think. We're uh, a little too high on this end. I don't want to take off too much here. Definitely seems like our issue though. these uh, gears not being all machined the same as a real fucking treat. Fit it to one gear and then you gotta try to fit it to all the others. Ooh, it's goes but it's tight come back out of there I want it to fit a little bit it's got to be snug but not not tight like that you don't have to be driving the bastard back apart Now that 55 gear, I want to see how that fits. It's too snug. It's 
still fits good. It's not real loose or anything. So you go put this 80 gear on now, 80 tooth gear. And uh, that'll slide on there like that. And that engages with that uh, tooth there. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like it sits in as far as I'd like, and you don't seem like you get full engagement there, but the other ones didn't either. It's not a... It's not a gear issue. The, the gear are the same way, other than they're thinner, but same offset, same principle. So, Yeah, I'm going to dink around here, and I'll get my things set up, and I'll kind of show you how the geometry, all that bullshit works once I figure it out. We'll go from there. Well, good Friday. Is it Friday? Maybe Friday. Friday morning. Um, so last night I was out here in the shop for a while, dinkering with this thing and got the, this, uh, gear offset. I gotta, I gotta figure out, to be honest with you. I can't, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't go in as far as I'd like it to, I suppose. Um, it does engage there. If we remove that one. Put a plastic gear on so it'd be the old gear i think it's the same way of course the gear fits so fucking this gear fits so tight on there you pretty much gotta drive it on um yeah but that offset doesn't do anything much different. A guy could take down this um, surface here to move that in a little bit further. And I might. I don't know if I want to get into that or not. I don't, it's not like I have a lathe to turn it down on. <laughs> get it? Um... So I'd like to be a little bit closer on that engagement side and get a little bit uh, better contact here. <clears throat> the only problem is if I want to switch gears around, they're all going to be the same way, I believe. We can eyeball this one. It doesn't... Uh, That one would be the same way, so you'd have to modify them all. And then you're in a conflict when you go to put the secondary, yeah, run your secondary gear on there. Where does that one ride? So, well, I guess it's going to be what it's going to be. If it strips out, you flip the gear over. Um, so I got to grab a couple of wrenches and we'll see if we can get this thing set up and running the way I want it. All right, so in uh, fucking haste of trying to get things done, and this whole lay thing just kind of gets to me a little bit, and I'm you know, a little mentally preoccupied today. Just, uh, I didn't get to uh, show you the last of putting this together, getting the side cover on, but we definitely got more uh, travel speed going on there. I don't know if it's going to make a difference, if it's just going to bog the thing down, or I have no fucking idea. I don't know. I don't know. So... I guess we'll find out in another video. Um, lathe, I mean, it, it is what it is. It's a cheap fucker and, you know, tinkering with it and spending time with it and fucking figuring it out and all that other garbage and whatever. I mean, so far it's making the pieces that I need them to. It, uh, I mean, is that perfect? Oh, uh, the end is, you can see the, the, no, you have to, you can see the rainbow. Yeah, well, get the fucking light, you can probably see, whatever, I don't care. That side, eh, all I did was 
barely touched the surface on it, so I don't care. If I milled it, maybe it'd be better. Maybe I needed more speed. Fuck, I don't know. I'm gonna change it around. Now we can swap the gears around. Fuck, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Hey, I got a few more carbides for it because those cheap bastards that I bought just don't hold up. They go dull so fast, it's unbelievable. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's the lathe project. We're going to be back on this thing and getting you straight fucking videos of the entire build here. Um, and because I almost got this side done, but I'll try to grab something later. We're going to fucking hammer down on this thing tonight and see if I can uh, get it flipped over and get it fucking scissor action going. And then we can figure out the hydraulics and all that other garbage. I got to go pick up a vehicle that's got to get a fucking that's got some drivetrain issues. So, we need to get room in here for some customer work as well. So, maybe we got to sh shove some shit back in the, against the wall and slide all this back. And I don't know, because I got to get into that fucker this weekend. Get into that truck for the customer and find out what's going on. Get it diagnosed, get parts ordered, all that stuff. So, I can get pieces and parts next week or salvage parts or whatever we got to do there. Um <sighs> So yeah, we're uh, <laughs> we're off and we're off and running. I haven't done any advertising for fucking customer work, and it's already coming out of the woodwork. If you know what I mean. So I uh, appreciate y'all. I appreciate everybody that watches and everybody that um, is looking to get some work done or throwing references out to their friends. We'll take care of you. Try to get a little bit more professional. Maybe a little less beer drinking, and maybe a little bit more uh, professional building and whatnot. Because I got. Do you have that skill set? Just don't show it all the time. <laughs> Whatever. Um, so yeah, we're uh, we're gonna get the hell out of here and make another video for you. We gotta work on the trailer first, so maybe we'll do that and then we'll go. I don't fuck. Whatever. If you guys like what I'm doing, throw me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, ring the bell, get my notifications. Memberships are down there if you want one, and I do appreciate it. It really helps out on the channel. We'll see you guys again next time.